manual. We have the original manual. It comes in a little binder. Is the DU-1500T. Show it to the light. Two KW, two hundred watts. Look like a, look like an MFJ uh, meter, right? I don't know how accurate it is, but it's relative. Uh, all right, got two little legs over here, so I could do uh, that antenna switch, making a shadow. The antenna switch, coax one, coax two, and this, I guess, is bypass. Oh, this is bypass right here. This is to balance line. Coax one, coax two. This is for the bands. Got 14 uh, to 10 meters. 14. So 160 meters. 2.0, 3.580 meters. So let's see how that's gonna go. And uh, very smooth. Very smooth. Now let me turn it around. This is the back. This is the balance line. When you use the balance line, you gotta connect this like so. So you gotta connect this. Let's just push them all away to use the balance line. There's coax one, coax two, the input, ground. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open it and take a look inside. Okay. Wow. Okay, I took the cover off and it's gorgeous. The switches, they have a duty. Nothing looks loose. more heavy duty than uh, this one over here from my previous tuner. Put them together. <laughs> yep. Look good. Wonderful. Oh, I took a little pen. Look at this. Where's the back pen? Where's the pen? You can't see it when you do it this way, but then when you go there, you can see it. This is Ben. What the hell is going on? Oh my goodness. And the box is destroyed.
I want them to work with this, you know. I don't know how the hell they got bent like this. But I have to uh, inspect it really carefully now. Especially all the components back over here. Make sure nothing is cracked because of this, this bullshit. Uh, bro, let me see if it works. If it works, then I, uh, I could deal with it. Alright, I see this. Kinda fucked up my whole day. So much for this. Well, what I did, I pulled it by hand. It looks a little better, right? It's a little bent on still over here, but I'm not gonna push my luck. But I pulled it up by hand. Uh, difficult at all to put it back together with your hand, so I don't know how it got bent like that. Maybe it dropped, I don't know. But uh, so I'm gonna see if it works good. If it works good, then I hang on to it. If this thing is giving me some hard time, that means something got damaged somewhere along the line. These components here, they will look intact. Nothing is, nothing is broken off. So I'm gonna work with that. Okay, I got the two. Uh, I got the two now online. I got it to 200 watts. I leave it the way more or less it came out of the factory. I left it on 10, uh, 10 meter band. Uh, direct, coax one, that's what I'm using. The input and output are both on 50. You know, see, uh, I'm working with a serial uh, 10 meter antenna, by the way. That's what I got on, it's a 10 meter antenna. I'm gonna press the full switch. We'll see how it goes. Whoa. That's uh, pretty high up. That's a very high SWR. I'm going to put it on a uh, tune. I got a direct coax one. I uh, should put it. Uh, Okay, 24.5, 12 meters. Okay, some 24.5. Gonna hit it again. Still a little high. I'm gonna hit this one. Oh boy. It's going down, right? Oh, there you go. Right there, perfect match. Look at that. I'm gonna put full power on the radio, which is about 100 watts. It will take us full power. Look at that. Not bad. Okay. Let's move on to another band. Okay, we're in uh, 21100, and uh, the antenna tuner is, uh, I put it back in the middle, the last band was 24, uh, 12 meters, I'll leave it there, but it's on bypass, so it doesn't matter, I still got the serial 10 meter antenna, on uh, 15 meters, and that's the, wow, look at that. That's the SWR reading on it. And okay, I'm gonna put it on uh, 21. I'm gonna put it on tune, coax one. And I'm gonna begin my process here. I'll bring down the power on the radio as much as I can. And let me see how that goes. Okay. This one always doesn't want to move. There you'll see the power is very low. I hope my radio didn't go in uh, automatic shutdown. Shouldn't, right? See what's going on here. 
And if I want, I'll bring the power up. All right. Oh man, I, I, I could live right there. Hmm. I could live right there. Flat. Okay, what about all the whatever almost 80 watts on FM with the CB uh, slash 10 meter antenna, the CBO 827, I believe, on 15 meters. Put it direct. And uh, SWS on the is on the clouds. All right, let's try another band. Okay, let's try another 20 meters with the G5 RV antenna. And uh, lower the power down. Let's see what the SWR here. It's in direct tone, direct uh, mode. Still on 21 megahertz. Everything is back on 50. 50 oh, a little bit high I'm gonna put on 14 put it on the number one coax tune and wow let me see where I'm gonna go here Get the power up. Okay. There you go. Give it more power. That's uh, susceptible, right? There you go, flat. What about 60 watts with G5 RV? Alright, I guess it proves the point. It's working fine. I'm uh, supposed to hold this monster here. I mean, not the full power, at least a legal limit. On peaks. Not, uh, I will never put 1500 watts carrier into a tuner that only holds. Uh, supposed to be decent so keep it safe but anyway that's it it's working pretty good now to give it a real test which is why I bought this antenna tuner for us to uh, able to use it with the amplifier and I hold its weight on. I was able to push it to 1500 watts I was able to max it out also about 2kw although I'm never gonna use as much power when I'm uh, doing a contest, uh, probably the most I'm going to be doing is a thousand watts, and no more than that. And but uh, just to show you guys, uh, the, the antenna tuner is holding his own. I didn't smell no smoke, so that's a good thing. But he uh, does what I got to do. He exceeds exceeds my expectation. I uh, I believe I'm going to like this tuner. Uh, still gonna fix my power star and get it ready, but uh, this is gonna be my uh, backup uh, tuna. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye